Hello, welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. It's my Eurovision 2023 Top 37 Countdown. It's place number 26. It's Azerbaijan, Chiral Chiran X with Tell Me More. Please do click on the subscribe button, ring on that notification bell and like, share and comment below. Also in the description below, you'll find a link through to the official music video of the song as well as uh, a link to my uh, written blog post as well on my website if you wanted to read that as well. Uh, so this is the first of the three Caucasus uh, countries um, and Azerbaijan is the only one of those three that has ever won, uh, has ever won Eurovision. Uh, they generally had a very good record at the, uh, at the contest but last year they notoriously qualified for the grand final without getting uh, a single point uh, from the televote. Uh, it all all of their votes came from the juries. So how will they get on with the new voting system, which is purely televote in the semi-final? Well, they've taken um, a different direction to previous years, uh, and it will be the twins. They are twin brothers, Chal and Charan uh, Bagmanov, seeing if they can win that public vote and keep ending up Azerbaijan's very good uh, qualifying record. Now, the twins submitted their uh, song, Tell Me More, to the broadcaster as part of an open submission process uh, for composers, uh, for song composers. Still internally selected, uh, Azerbaijan has never done a, a, a public vote uh, for, their, uh, for their selection. Um, they were subsequently got shortlisted um, as one of, the five, uh, one of the five songs, and ultimately they were announced as Azerbaijan's entry for this year, perhaps to their surprise as well, because I don't think they went into it necessarily expecting that they would get that. Um, this is the first time that Azerbaijan is sending an entry that is written by Azerbaijani writers and not by anyone from outside of Azerbaijan. Previously, um, uh, they've generally had their songs written or co-written uh, largely by Swedish uh, writers and composers, etc. Um, it's also going to be the first time that it's not just the song being written, it's the song being sung. They are singer-songwriters, so it's the, the people... The, the brothers actually co-wrote the song uh, with a couple of other um, a couple of people who are both Azerbaijani as well. So it's a, a complete Azerbaijani uh, package this year. Um, it's also quite a different break. It's quite a break in style as well, not surprisingly being um, you know, shifting to a different set of, of writers. Um, this is a very laid back kind of indie rock uh, pop song. And there's a distinct uh, Beatles uh, feel, 60s, 70s British uh, feel to it and its sound. And I'm sure that's not completely uh, unconnected to the host city uh, being Liverpool. Um, I'd say this has risen quite a bit up my rankings since it was first released. Um, I think I've come to appreciate its more relaxed feel and the fact that it's a different genre and just more low-key than, than a lot of the other entries this year. Um, I think it's a great step forward for Azerbaijan to be using their own singer, homegrown singer-songwriters as well, even if the end product has ended up sounding like a more UK sound rather than having kind of Azerbaijani instrumentation or music. Um, my, my main gripe with this is that I don't like there is a spoken word slash rap part toward the start that I don't like. It reminds me of Mount Harris last year for Germany and there's that bit of the song that I really didn't like. This one comes much earlier on and it seems to be got out of the way so I can enjoy the rest of the song but it's still, it still, I think, could um, could do without it. Um, given that this is a, the first homegrown kind of entry by Azerbaijan it feels a bit of a shame that this has landed seemingly so badly with the fandom um it's bumping along near the bottom of the Eurovision scoreboard app um but to be fair it's not really the sort of genre or song that uh, those people voting in the app tend to favour the, these songs always often don't do as well as uh, they might do in the contest um also I think those people that are fans of Azerbaijan as a Eurovision country like Azerbaijan because of this type of Songs they those that sort of you know, very heavily produced sort of those particular sounds that those Swedish writers gave them. I think that was why they liked Azerbaijan um, rather than necessarily what they've come out with this year, which is a very different uh, style and genre to what they normally do. Um, 
they generally have done very impressive staging, good performances, cut, you know, camera cuts, all of that has been very, you know, there. The the package you get at the sh uh, at the contest has always been very sharp and good. But even with that, and with the fact that I think this song probably has a broader appeal outside of the fandom than people might think, um, I think it's going to be a real struggle for it to qualify still. Um, the, the the twins have been sandwiched between two of the big songs in the running order. Uh, and I think it's going to do that will do nothing to help people remember them because I think people are going to remember. Certainly, this, you know, I think that people are going to remember the songs that come either side of them. Um, and there's no real televoting allies for Azerbaijan in this uh, in this semi-final either. So non-qualification does seem quite likely. Um, but I do hope that won't put the broadcaster off uh, in future. That it won't. They won't kind of necessarily return to going back to non-Azerbaijani writers and, and and going back to, to Sweden all the time for their songs. I think it would be nice for them to sort of continue trying to send some homegrown stuff, even if it doesn't always mean that they qualify. But let me know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments and we'll see you again soon.